Well, hey there everyone. Kay here on my homestead in Tennessee. I just wanted to give you a quick look at what happens to a raised bed when you don't do anything and you just let it do its thing. Now, I had two raised beds that were not planted. One, we put weed cloth. We took the dirt out all the way and put the weed cloth lined it and put the dirt the soil back in and i put a thick layer of crushed leaves on top and i just never got around to planting it and now it's in pretty much full shade i'm trying to decide what to do with it meanwhile i had one raised bed that i hadn't done anything with because the man didn't come back and finish the eighth raised bed so it was just kind of hanging there and I thought, well, I can't really plant it. I can't prepare the soil. You know, it's going to go out underneath. And so I didn't do anything. And it was just a mound of dirt. Take a look. <laughs> so I'm going to show you what it looks like now. We're going to walk over and look at all the plants. The entire thing is covered with plants. I didn't plant one single seed in there but this is what happens when you just let something go and you don't plant it it will plant itself Just a quick look at the raised beds. These are potatoes, strawberries, strawberries, empty. Asparagus, I have been eating asparagus several times a week for two months. It's been, I've eaten, been able to eat all I've wanted to eat of asparagus. It's been wonderful. So this is the third year and that's when it really delivers for you. So it is a perennial. And then the next bed is the one we're going to look at. And up from there, the brassicas, that whole thing needs to be cleaned out. I'm going to put all my herbs in there. I have been really just nursing along my herbs in cups because I just didn't know where to put them. Some are perennial, might come back. Some are annual, they won't come back. But the problem is if I put them in the ground anywhere, I have to beat back the weeds. It's going to be so hard. So I just said, okay, just put them in the raised bed and enjoy them for the, for the year for the, uh, till the season's over and then worry about it next year. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay. There it is. Now. This is obviously a brassica that went to seed, went to flower, is going to seed now. I'm not sure if it's broccoli. See, I'm not sure what it is because it could be, I don't know what it is. Maybe you can help me. What do you think it is? These are the leaves, but there's a lot of it. And, and I'm gonna have a ton of seeds. And I do have, wow, I have huge seed pods over there. That is broccoli, I think. So maybe this is the, um, I don't know. So this is the Blue Spice Basil. I don't know if you remember, but I grew so much of this. I didn't seed any this year. And I had it in this bed and I had it in that bed, but all, see, all these beds were redone. So I didn't know what would come back, but this is a nice grouping. Whoops, this is a nice grouping of the Blue Spice Basil. It smells wonderful. The pollinators love it. I have some more of the brassica of some kind over here. This is ladies thumb. We're going to be doing a video. I'm going to be doing a video on ladies thumb. There's a lot to say about it. Oh my goodness, look at this. 
Are those aphids on the grass seed? Yes, because this is grass seed. Look at that. You always make discoveries every time you turn the camera on in the garden. This is grass seed not covered with aphids, and this is grass seed covered with aphids. Aphids, you can squish. I mean, I don't want this grass seed to come up anyway. I need to take all of the grass out. I need to take the ladies some out. What have we got here? Whoops. We've got a wasp. Wasps are pollinators too, but not they don't they can't pack pollen like a bee does okay what do you suppose this high spot what do you suppose this big plant is i'm sure southerners know this is a native to the southeast and this is poke now, I'm not going to eat poke. I know some people do. I think you're supposed to eat it when it's young or maybe just the tender little shoots. You can cook it. So this is a potato, obviously. Going to have a potato in there. This is more of the blue spice basil. This, I think, is the lady's thumb in a very mature growth. But guess what? All of this is Oriental Lady's Thumb on the ground here. And we're going to be talking about that. I believe this... Hmm, I'm going to have to check that out. Let me check. Okay, I checked on this. It is Lady's Thumb. And sometimes it will tell me it's Oriental Lady's Thumb. So I'm not sure what the difference is. We're going to talk about that. But this is American burnweed, and it's in the aster daisy family, so I'm assuming it's going to have a pretty flower. It does, uh, it's not listed as invasive. So, I mean, that's something that I don't have to worry about, but guess what? This grass is hairy crab grass, so this is horrible stuff. This right here is the blue spice basil, which is wonderful potato, poke, uh, what else we got? We got the brassica, let's see, we got another one of the American burn, ooh, got a bunch of those, whoa, got a bunch of those, not invasive, huh? Okay, and this is another potato, more blue spice basil, more ladies thumb, uh, let's see what else, well, that looks like about it. Look at all these seeds. If I don't get this out of here, I'm going to have 10 million seeds. But these are great for pollinators. This is the asparagus bed. When you, uh, when you pick it every day, I don't pick it actually, I cut it just below the surface. I got one, two, whoa, I got a big one that I missed yesterday. Look at this thing. I need to get some clippers. See, this is going to put up a huge fern. And I don't need the fern, so I only got four, not really enough for a meal, but <laughs> look at this celery. Remember I mentioned this? This is just growing here. It's going to bolt too, see, because once it has this, once it puts up this and then it makes more stalks, this gets very woody and hard and this whole thing is not that good. The leaves are still good for a while, but it's going to bolt. You know, it's... It's the end of May. Look at this, Look at this uh, plantain. Big old leaves of plantain right here. Okay, I guess that's about and more here. Wow. Quick look, this whole thing needs to be pulled out and redone. And uh, 
This is, this is actually broccoli, so I guess that's what the broccoli leaf looks like. So that could be cabbage over there. No, it's not cabbage. This is sorrel. It needs to be cleaned up and cut back and grass needs to come out. Here's the lettuce. Wow. Oh, get out of there. Okay. I need to come and pick this lettuce. And this is the turnips in here. We'll go back over this when I come to harvest the turnips. This is the bed that I didn't plant anything in. And of course, nutgrass is coming up. And the nut is breaking off. It's down in there somewhere. But this thing is manageable. That is out of control. BJ. BJ. Enjoy it while you can. It's going to rain again this afternoon. They're sticking close together today. Update on the potato bed. I'm going to be doing a potato video very soon, but look at this. Wow. This is overflowing. Almost all the flowers are purple. I've got a few white ones, but not many. And a ton of wild lettuce. I have so many peaches that fell off the tree. So I have to believe that's some kind of disease. I'm going to be lucky to actually get to get peaches that I can eat. I would be so happy. This is the huge dinner plate size hibiscus with the big bright red flowers. Wow. It dies all the way back and comes all the way back. So in June, that's just going to be stunning. And look, I believe these are daylilies. Daylilies are like candy to deer. So I really have to get on that. This is my fig that grows like a bush. It's lovely right now, but it takes the whole season to regrow the plant so it doesn't have time to set fruit. This is my new tree. Let's see if there's any, any damage here. Something was eating on that and that. Yeah, that's been eaten on. But this looks okay. I need to get that protected and I need to get my IV organic three-in-one plant guard on the trunk of that. I should have done it right when I planted it. Here are more day lilies coming back and a massive cobweb. It would be interesting to see the spider that belongs to that enclave. Okay, here's my mulberry. It just got eaten on so much I had to put a cage around it. And that's already come and gone. That's the pawpaw. And this is the apple, which I probably should have just gone ahead and taken it down. Look at the cicadas in there. Oh, that's a wasp. And, and here, here is, is the cedar rust. Oh my goodness, look at these cicadas. I don't know if they're doing damage to the tree or, or what. Okay, let's just shake the tree and see what happens just for the fun of it. There were like 50. Oh my goodness. This has taken a beating. These tomatoes are not going to make it. Just too much rain. Well, this is interesting. Oh, I know. It got knocked down. I had this over the top of this aronia bush because the deer eat it down. Can't wait to get my deer protection down here. Okay, that's just a quick look. Hey, BJ. BJ, can you sign off for me? Okay, just a quick look at the flower garden. I didn't set out plants. I just scattered seed. And I've got 10 million things coming up. But I've also got 
crabgrass. A lot of grass. <laughs> here's a tomato. Uh oh, here's more tomatoes. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at these tomatoes. I didn't even know what that was looking from the from the house. Holy cow, there are there are oh my gosh. <laughs> it's like oh my goodness. You've got to be kidding. Look at all these tomatoes. Well, unfortunately, tomatoes are not like leafy greens. You can't just pick them and, you know, put them in a pot and cook them up. They have to have support. They're all indeterminates. These seeds, I don't know how I got all these seeds. I mean, I did grow tomatoes here, but I, I don't understand how that many tomatoes came up. Sunflowers. Uh, more, that's zinnias. I put down a lot of sunflower and zinnia seed. So, you know, if I wanted to take a week, I could make this beautiful. And maybe, maybe we'll get some cool weather in the beginning of June. We can hope. Hey, thanks for tuning in today. I hope it was inspirational or educational or at least entertaining. Thank you so much. You can find ways to support the channel underneath the video. Please leave me a comment, share with a friend, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks so much. God bless.